Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Stratia Lipid Gold Barrier Lotion. This product comes in two sizes. The 50 milliliter retails for $27 and the 100 milliliter retails for $51. I did try out the smaller version of this product because it is a first impression with it. And this is also the first product that I'm trying from this brand. I wanted to try the most popular product first because I have heard so many people raving about this product. I've seen people compare this product to the Ordinary's new Barrier Support Serum. And so I really wanted to try out this product to see what this product does. And also because it has some amazing ingredients in it that make me really excited to try out this product. Now this product is not vegan. They do disclose that on their website. So if you are vegan, then just be mindful of that. But this product is cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. The highlight ingredients in this product include ceramide AP, sea buckthorn fruit oil, and niacinamide. This product has amazing ingredients in it, so check out the full ingredient list. Make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. The big things I'll be looking for with this product include, does it cause any acne? I'm not seeing any ingredients that seem like they will set off my acne, but I will be curious to see that. I also wanna see what results this product delivers and what it does for my skin overall. This is also a moisturizer, so I do wanna see what kind of hydration this product delivers. As for anything else, I'll be continuing do check-in. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. So I know that they say that this product is a moisturizer, but there aren't really many rules with this product that I've seen. I feel like this product could be a great hydration serum, which is how I personally been using it. I found that it wasn't hydrating enough to be a moisturizer for me. It was more better as a barrier serum. I do really love this product. I feel like it is making my skin look very good and very hydrated. It doesn't take a lot of this product and it does have a yellow tint to it. but it does blend in very quickly. You can just see that it is a very lightweight and watery serum. So that is why I feel like I would prefer it as a serum, even though they do call it a lotion. But I just take like two pumps. And it's just so soothing to the skin immediately when it goes on. I mean, the ingredients in this product are amazing. I'm seeming to love my experience with it so far. It's been a very nice hydration serum. I do go in with this product before a moisturizer, but it is one of the last steps that I do use. Obviously apply your lighter weight serums first and then go in with your heavier weight serums. Also, if you do have more oily skin, you may prefer to just use this as a moisturizer. I just like a lot of hydration. It's about to be the winter time and my skin really does go through it. So I'm going to continue using this product and seeing how it performs. I'm seeming to love it so far, but I will just be curious to see that. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. Like I said before, I've been using this product as a moisturizing serum in between my lighter weight serums and my moisturizer. This product has done wonders for my skin barrier. It was safe for my acne prone skin, at least in my experience. And it also was a very good value in my opinion. You really only have to use one or two pumps of this product and it went all over my face and neck. This product has been so restorative and it's been perfect for me because the weather has been a little bit cold Old, and my skin usually gets really dry in the winter. This product really helped counteract that. It just rebuilt my skin barrier so nice. Now, here's the thing. It is almost impossible for me to compare this product to the Ordinary Soothing and Barrier Serum. I have used that product longer than this one, and both products, in my opinion, were very effective at rebuilding my skin barrier. The Ordinary Serum claims to work within the first 30 minutes. This this product I found to do that as well. I mean, within the first two hours of using it, my skin was radiant, my skin was hydrated, and it just gave a very nice feel to the skin. They do obviously have different ingredients, so I would look over the ingredients of both and just kind of evaluate what you personally look for in a barrier strengthening serum. Both products, in my opinion, are beyond impressive, and I mean, it's impossible to choose between the two. This product 
product I use both during the day and also at night. It was the perfect balance serum that I feel like would be great for any skin type. If you are struggling with your skin barrier, I would 100% recommend trying out this product. It has amazing ingredients and this was a great first impression with this brand. I love this product so much and I cannot wait to repurchase it. It has honestly become one of my favorite skincare products that I've tried. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.